day is Ulf's life. There in the hanging gardens, he aimed to throw it all away. It wasn't the first time Zolf had nothing to lose. He was born to a simple or a couple who didn't last long before plague took him. He grew up hungry in the tunnels of the Tazel terminals, so he took to stealing from a Ceylonian missionary living there. Sloppy with his thieving hands. The missionary caught him, but didn't rat him out. Instead, he offered to take him in. That missionary raised Zolf like a gentleman, like he was his own son. Taught him theology, history, and mercy. started teaching the missionaries wisdom to any Ura who would listen, and listen they did. that the Ura should atone for the war. He believed the city had much to teach his people. Zolf 
Zo felt he could only do so much in the Tazel terminals. He needed Ceylandia to know the era had changed. He decided to do what the missionary did many years before. He left the city of his youth to brave a savage land. saw the rippling walls on the horizon. He endeared himself to city folk straight away, and in turn he fell in love with the city and its people. One in particular. fascinated by the Ura, but she never met anyone like Zolf. She told him she knew all the city's best kept secrets. The Hanging Gardens was their favorite spot. It was there that Zolf clasped her hands and proposed in proper Ceylandian style. He celebrated with his friends long into the night, joy and revelry like he'd never seen. Too bad he couldn't remember it all. Inside the Ura Ceylandian War Memorial, built like an Ura Den. But something was wrong. The 
world was frozen, air thick with ash. What few faces he saw on the street stared back at him with gray and vacant eyes. in the sky. Zolf returned to where he proposed in the hanging gardens, and there he stood, as if the gods would answer him. <laughs> <laughs> 